okay so a few days ago i uploaded a video demonstrating my soft lock technique okay and uh, one of the comments was asking for a tutorial so here it is let me just demonstrate first what the soft lock technique was basically as you can see these are the selected enemies okay and when i attack now look my player is not looking at the enemy but when i attack my player will look at the enemy and attack them also they are being highlighted as they are being selected for soft lock but if they are far away from us they won't be selected then my player will attack in its own forward direction but if they are in zone my player will rotate and attack them so let's start firstly what you need is inside your player create an arrow okay keep it uh, near his waist or chest or like wherever you want basically along the torso area okay create that inside that arrow create a capsule okay and that capsule will determine its length uh, our soft lock uh, systems radius okay that uh, length so keep your length according i have it at 5 i can keep it at 10 and but uh, right now i want it to be 5 position it correctly okay however you want and make sure it is like this rotated 90 degrees okay after that scroll down now this is important the collision sec section generate overlap event should be ticked true can character step on should be no collision preset should be selected to overlap only pawn if you don't do this you might get bugs okay you don't want it to collide you only want it to generate uh, queries all right so now when we go into the event graph okay here you need to do a few things firstly create a event create an event name it soft lock arrow event or like whatever you want basically what we are going to do is get that arrow we created okay and rotate it with our camera okay but only on the z axis not on the x y axis you can do that on the x y axis but uh, that's your personal uh, taste if your game requires it you do it but uh, most of the games won't require it so just have it at z if you need um, your detection to be a bit uh, bigger like the detection area should be a bit bigger just mess around with this collider okay but if you really want it to go up and down so only then connect it to the other nodes or else just connect it to the z okay so once we have done that call this event in your tech okay so it will rotate along with our camera let me show you what i mean i'll do this unhide i'll unhide this from the game and now as you can see as i move my camera the arrow moves as well so it is not moving in x and y but only moving in the z all right now we have done that it is rotating if you don't do this um, don't change the collision to overlap only pawn it will collide with the act or the act, other actors and we don't want that so once you have done this go to your ai okay your enemies and whatever you want to soft lock now you need to create two events event actor being overlap event actor and overlap these are uh, built-in events by unreal okay so now you also need the material okay as you can see when i soft lock one of these characters they shine yellow okay which is basically a material i'll link to that uh, video in my description how i achieved that material okay 
but basically any material would do okay you can add different shaders as well okay so uh, event actor being overlap here you need to get your mesh and call set render custom depth set it set the value to true set custom depth stencil value set it to two uh, this will be um, you watch the video i'll give in the description okay that shows how to create that uh, material and in that you need to select a value for that material so whatever you select the value for that material you paste it here okay and set the visibility of this this is basically your uh, health okay i right now have it as a just text okay this will just um this is just temporary but you will have your health ui right so connect your health ui and make it visible this is um the rest is just um other stuff that i have with my combat system you don't need to worry about it and on event actor and overlap do this whatever you said true here do that false so basically our uh, health bar visibility will be false and our uh, render of um, the material will be false as well okay and the value we set it to zero all right so once you have done this your result should be like this when you get close look at them they should shine yellow all right but now they will just shine yellow and your player won't actually rotate and attack them for that okay if you just need this fine but if you really want your player to rotate and attack at them i have a solution here but you are free to make your own solution as well so i have created an event soft locking okay here what we're going to do is create a spear spear trace okay there are many ways to do this but i'm using this way there are many other ways more complex more simple but um, this is just an overview of what i'm doing okay we are going to create a spear trace our objective is to create a spear spear trace which is similar to this capsule's dimensions okay so the spear trace will be exactly similar to this so for that i'll get the soft lock arrow to get the direction okay for the direction what we are going to do is get the soft lock arrow its world location add it to its forward vector okay and multiply it by a value you can tweak this value as you uh, with your uh, desire okay whatever your game needs and we are going to paste it at start okay if you keep it at zero it will start right here between its stomach so your capsule the spear trace will look like this but if you want it to look like this this okay you can uh, play with this number all right now for the end by that i mean how long your capsule should be what we are going to do is get the capsule itself okay and in the capsule we have changed this right the scale we are going to get the world scale okay and multiply it by 100 because 5 here will be 500 centimeters here we need it in here in centimeters all right so whatever here you have uh, place the number just multiply it by 100 or if you desire something else multiply it by some other number whatever your game needs and then multiply it by the forward vector because you need it uh, in forward right multiply it by forward vector add it by the location and here you have the end now you will have your spear cast okay spear trace spear cast for object types make sure to add pawn don't add anything else make sure to add pawn if your enemy is a pawn okay if your enemies are something else you can play with it if you have different uh, 
what do you call it collision presets okay for your enemies add them radius this is again whatever your game needs now if we hit something we go further okay even if we hit something we need to check that whatever we hit is an enemy so from actor we get a tag and check if it is an enemy so if our hit object is an enemy what we do is create a variable store its location okay uh, store the actor okay this is location nearest actor basically it's not a location sorry this is just nearest actor okay so this is the nearest actor that we have uh, collided with now after that we will look at the enemy okay so look at the enemy is just an event what i have done here is just rotated my player accordingly to look at the enemy so here we take the enemy reference okay as actor's location get our player's location put it inside a find look at rotation node and then get set rotation and just only add z okay now this way whenever whenever we call this now you can call this in your attack function like um here i have when i press f or uh, click my mouse button i first check if uh, my character is falling because i have different things when my pa character is mid air and i attack so it does that so for that i don't need to soft lock on any player right if so when it's falling it will do something else when it is not falling is um, which means it is on ground it will do start soft locking okay so soft lock we get the player we get the another actor and we make our player look at the actor and once a player is looking at the actor we proceed to do the rest of our attacking thing okay however you have done that and if we have not hit anybody or if the other actor is not our enemy then we just skip and get this nearest actor to be null okay we'll set this to null or else if we have um if we don't do this okay let's say you have attacked an actor and they went far away and then you attack again okay so no one is close to you but still your player will look at the other actor right so we need to clear it so for that we'll set it to none okay and then we attack as usual okay so here what we will achieve is if you have your player inside your soft lock area okay a player will look at them look at them when they are attacking yeah when the player is attacking but if they are far away and we attack a player will attack in its own forward direction rather than looking at some other actor okay and yeah that's it that's how you get soft locking that's how i achieved soft locking so basically let's get a rundown of what we exactly did let's revise firstly what we did was create an arrow get a capsule what and then rotate the capsule only on the x axis okay we are doing that by getting us our camera's rotation okay but you can also rotate this capsule with your wasd keys or your movement keys uh you can rotate it however you like okay that's an option too but it depends on how your game goes once you have done that while attacking what we do is create a same spear car create a spear cast with same dimensions and then check if our spear cast hits anything that is our enemy okay we check it by having the enemies and attack named an enemy 
so if our enemies have the tag enemy then we make a player rotate and look at the enemy so a player looks at the enemy and then attacks so after your player is looking at the enemy then proceed to do your attack montages and animations and all those things so yeah and for the shiny thing i mean the outline you just make two events event actor being overlap and event actor end overlap and just turn on the material and then turn off the materials that's all you got to do that's how you have that soft locking system okay if you need any further if you have any further questions ask them in the comments if you need some other tutorials you can also ask them in the comments <laughs> this tutorial is a result of someone asking it in the comments and if you have any other type of questions or if you want me to explore this system more then yeah let me know in the comments i'll try to make another tutorial about it and yeah this is kind of very simple way it may not be like very optimized okay there might be better ways to do this okay but if your game is short and simple and if you want to get things uh quick okay if you want to get results quick or you're making a prototype then yeah this should do the work and let me think if i am skipping something so yeah if you have any other queries let me know in the comments and i'll see you next time